Good evening. Tonight, we are learning more about the man suspected of killing Jacqueline V. Hill, the mother of two New Mexico State police officers. As News 13's Jeannie Nguyen found out, the suspect and his family are no strangers to getting into trouble and entering the country illegally. She's here to explain. Court documents show how investigators believe Luis Talamentes Romero, his sisters and nephews all work together to cover up the high profile murder. We're going to find you guys and uh, it might not be today, tomorrow, but we will and uh, there will be justice for my mom. It's been a long nine months. Luis Talamentes Romero was named as the prime suspect in Jacqueline V. Hill's death. My wife did not deserve to be killed that way. Nobody does, you know. Now, new federal court documents show Talamentes Romero had help in the days following V. Hill's death in November. Remember this Jeep? This is the vehicle police say Talamentes Romero and another suspect used the day of the murder. Court documents show that Jeep belonged to Talamentes Romero's sister, Elizabeth, an illegal immigrant who's been deported before and comes back illegally. She helped him escape to San Antonio, Texas. A week after V. Hill's death, Elizabeth told police the Jeep was at her house near 98th and Gibson. Then there's Veronica Viela, another sister of Talamantas Romero, who keeps re-entering the U.S. illegally. Back in July, she was arrested and charged with aggravated battery and child abuse after the feds say she ran someone off the road in the South Valley with her child in the car. That person was a witness in the Hill murder. Talamantas Romero's nephews were also involved. Court documents show Eric Barron was very concerned about hiding and cleaning the Jeep. He was also frustrated with his uncle because he was always, quote, doing dumb things. <laughs> Recorded phone calls from MDC also show another nephew, Ricardo Barron Jr., was upset with his uncle and believed Talamantes Romero was high on drugs when he killed V. Hill. When APD got a search warrant for Elizabeth's house, they found all of this marijuana in Barron Jr.'s room. He was charged with possession. And while all four have been named in connection with V. Hill's murder, none of them have been charged for it. We asked the district attorney's office if and when they will be charging these suspects, but they would not answer our question. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. As far as the other suspect in the Jeep the day V. Hill was murdered, Elizabeth Talamantes told the feds her cousin was also with Luis Talamantes Romero, but it's unclear who that person is. Luis Talamantes Romero, Elizabeth Talamantes, Veronica Viela, and Ricardo Barron are all in federal custody. Eric Barron is in state custody.